please take a moment to increase the brightness on your device for optimal viewing. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sketchy Friendler, where every day I tell you a story and I draw a picture to go along with it. Today, I will reveal to you for whom the bell tolls. But first, real quick, uh, I am drawing in blue pencil. Please bear with me. I will start drawing in graphite shortly. Two, if this seems too light for you, then just crank the brightness on your viewing device all the way up. And three, if you are on your cell phone and this image just seems way too small for you, then go ahead and rotate your cell phone horizontal and then the image will fill the screen. And with that, let's do this. Okay, um, let me reveal to you. Uh, the, the bell tolls for my daughter, Anna. <laughs> or actually, she she told the bell. Um, so just a kind of a kind of a quick explanation. Um, we spent um, about a week and a half or so. I think it's about two weeks now. Um, been about two weeks since we went down to West Palm Beach to um, get my daughter her annual medical treatment. This time around, she had serial casting. Um, and uh, the very last day that we were down there, um, she was still um, casted up on her wrists. So um, we went to get those removed from her OT, Mary, and um, she was assisted by um, Gigi, who is Anna, is Anna's new favorite uh, employee there. And um, they got her casts removed, but then um, it was kind of a double appointment because right after that, Mary then went to work on making new wrist splints for Anna so that um, she could take those home with her. Um, so Anna could have new, she being Anna, um, that we could take the, the cast, uh, the splints home with, with her. Because um, the old ones were getting a little bit, um, they weren't really doing the trick anymore. Um, so um, she got new ones made, which were really fun because um, Mary was putting them together for her and gave Anna like choices of colors <laughs> that she could pick. So she picked um, one of the casts was pink and the other was purple. And they put colored, uh, and the, the, the actual material that they made the, that Mary made the splints out of was um, kind of this dark kind of blue color. So it was kind of a nice contrast. Um, they put on um, colored Velcro, but it's a little um, scratchy. So um, they gave us this, they also sent us home with um, just the regular softer Velcro. So we swapped those out. Um, so they're not as colorful, but they're still pretty colorful. They're more, they're more colorful than the, than the last, last pair she had. So, um, part of the tradition or the tradition at, at Paley Center where Anna gets, um, her treatment for her arthrogryposis, um, 
is when you when the patient finishes up their their treatment plan and is going home they get to ring a bell there's a bell um they actually have several bells i think set up in different parts of the building um or buildings now but um once once a patient finishes up their their treatment plan and is about to go home and it's their last day there um before they leave they get to there's a bell and they get they, they call out all the employees and the patient gets to ring the bell which is cool because um you know it's just kind of acknowledging them for all the hard work that they did and it's kind of a all the employees come out so it's kind of just like a thank you to them so everybody just gets together and it's really cool um now anna's been to paley center for you know, many times over the past few years and she's had major surgeries there and lots of serial casting but she for whatever reason never rang the bell and i think largely has to do with that she was kind of um she's always been kind of sensitive to kind of loud sounds which is kind of standoffish just really does not does not like to be around anything that makes loud noises so um, because of that i think she kind of avoided and just didn't want to she opted out of of ringing the bell all the previous times that she went but this time, you know, she's she's getting bigger. She's almost seven now. So she she said, "Yeah, I want to." Mary was was um, finishing up, and she said, "Hey, you know, let's you want to ring the bell?" And I, I mean, I don't think we any of us expected that to happen. Um, but yeah, they um, and it was totally down to ring the bell. And um, so first they, they uh, Mary put together a little kind of going away um, bag for her and had like um, uh, a whole bunch of little doodads in it and like a little um, stuffed animal that had a little stuffy that had like, um, I guess it has us put in the microwave and it smells like lavender. So it's kind of a, cool little thing so it was like a uh one of those red it was a red panda so anna like that and um then so they she had went out there and they gathered all the employees that were around and some of the other patients came over and um Mary, of course, is there, Gigi, and also um, Don, one of the other people that she works with, who helps cast her up. And it was nice. Um, and so she got to ring the bell, and she was eating it up. She totally loved all the attention. And um, she got carried away, and she did a little spin. <laughs> she, she fell on her, on her behind. And no, she wasn't, she was okay. I think um, maybe a little bit embarrassed, but I think she, she kind of shrugged it off and uh, got to take pictures with, with her buddies, Mary and Don and Gigi before, before we went and left. And it was, you know, it was, it was a really nice, it was a nice send off. Um, because right after that, we had to, we just went home. Like we had, to, we had to go home. We didn't spend another, didn't spend any more time in West Palm Beach after that. Um, so it was like that one last um, visit with Mary, which was I think about two hours because it was the, cast removal and then split making the splints and then um 
we said our goodbyes and went back home. And um, it's been cool because uh, it was a good it was a good trip. She um, she didn't do casting for very long because we're only there for about a week and a half. But she regained a lot of, of range of motion in both her wrists and uh, her foot, which is one of her kind of more stubborn areas. And so that was great. And um, I, I've been trying to trying to maintain that um, the gains that she made there, trying not to let them slip away because they can go so so quickly, so easily because um, her body just wants to, you know, go back to how she was born and especially as she grows, when she has growing growth spurts. Um, it will tend to try to regress back to the original state and positions that um, she was born with. Um, so we always have to be mindful of that and vigilant and make sure that she gets as good of a stretch as possible, uh, especially every other night when we put her knees into flexion and um then on the other alternating night other nights we use the uh wrist splints so tonight was a um was a knee stretching night and then tomorrow will be a wrist stretching night so yeah it was it was a good trip really happy that it all worked out we had a good time got to see people friends at paley and then um my friend hillary and and i got what she needed so it was definitely a mission accomplished and let me zoom out here so you can see the whole deal Oops, wrong way. All right, there you go. But yeah, I just want to thank all the people at Paley that, you know, helped her and help other kids there, um, especially to Mary and Fran, Gigi, Don. Uh, Dr. Feldman, of course. And um, we will see you guys uh, soon. All right. So I think that should do it. Um, just a reminder that I am on YouTube and Facebook Monday through Friday. Um, drawing these pictures, telling you stories. And um, on Saturdays, we post up a poll where you get to choose your favorite drawing from Monday through Friday. And then on Sunday, 10 p.m. Eastern time, my wife and I go live where I will ink in and color in the drawing that you picked in the poll. And we're live, so we'll chat with you. Um, I'm also on TikTok where I do shorter videos. They're about two, two and a half minutes long. Um, and um, I take you all the way through. Uh, it's like a time lapse drawing all the way up through the inking process. And I just have like a short little thought that I talk to you about during those videos. Also, I'm doing uh, Inktober there as well. So you're getting twice content this month. And then on Instagram, if you just kind of want to see these finished drawings without watching the video or you want to decide whether you want to watch the video or not by what the finished picture looks like, then um, Instagram is where it's at. So I'm all on all four platforms. And um, again, I just want to let you all know that I appreciate you and I will see you soon. Thank you.